to another jewelry making video brought to you by KeepsakeCrafts.net. Combining suede leather and chunky chain is a popular trend right now, and today I'm going to show you how to do an interesting weave so that you can make yourself a rather funky necklace. So to make this necklace you will need, first of all, some chunky chain. Curb chain, cable chain, this is some twisted chain, whatever you have. I have two 8-inch pieces here. They don't have to be the same, mine are, but you could have two different ones, two different colors. Just make them about the same uh, in chain length, link length. You'll also need two 20 inch pieces of 3 millimeter suede cord. You'll need a couple pieces of chain for the sides of your necklace. These are 6 inches. I'm mixing metals with abandon today. You'll need two cord ends. I'll show you how to use those. A clasp and some jump rings. And for tools you'll need chain nose pliers, scissors, and if you have them a pair of flat nose pliers are great or just another pair of chain nose. The first step in making your necklace is to put two cord, your two cord ends into one of these cord ends. And it's very simple to use. These flat nose pliers are fantastic, but you can use chain nose pliers as well and you just put your cord in and then you just squish one tab over and then squish the other over. And These cord ends have a loop on one end that we'll use for attaching our chain and it's in there very securely. The next thing you'll want to do is what I've done here is lay out your two chains side by side. If you have a twisted chain make sure they're all nice and flat and smooth because we want to keep them that way as we weave. And I've also cut my ends at just a bit of an angle. This might help a little in the weaving. And then you're simply going to pop one end through one chain. Pull it all the way up. And then wrap around one more time. And you want this wide leather cord so that uh, your cord isn't going to slip through any slits in your chain links and then repeat on the other side going through in the opposite direction. So this one I came up from the back so on this side I'm going to go down from the top and just go through and one more time. And then the next step is to start weaving uh, our cord through our links and what we're going to be doing is make a series of X's with the leather cord holding together these two lengths of chain. So I'm going to take the right one, the right, well, I guess top, I'm going to take the top cord and go down through the next chain on the left, on the bottom, and then take the cord that's on the bottom and go through the next link on the top. And you can see your X there. And now this one is coming out the bottom of this link, so I'm going to go up from the bottom of the next link on the other side. And then repeat with the cord on the other side. Since it's coming out the bottom, I'm going to go up from the bottom and through the next link. and you just continue to repeat. Now this is on the top, so I go down from the top and the same on the other one. Just crisscrossing. You don't have to pull your cord super tight, just snug it up a little and what you should have, the very, very beginning notwithstanding, you should have a nice neat series of X's all down your cord. Make, again, make sure to keep your chain nice and flat and it'll be stitched together right down the middle with a series of black suede X's. So here's all my weaving done. Let me zoom in for you a little bit so you can get an idea of how that looks. Just a series of black X's. Uh, if you're on the bottom with the cord, if the cord is coming out the bottom of the link, it'll go up through the bottom of the next link. If it's coming out the top of the link, it will go down through the top of the next link. That's how you can remember. So then when you get to your last links, 
You just want to repeat what you did at the beginning by wrapping through each of those links twice and then trim off your cord. Try to have about the same amount on each end, so I'm going to trim these off about here and add the cord end just like I did before. Pop them in there and squash it flat. If you're concerned about these coming out, I'm not, but if you are, you can add a dab of glue in there. If you were using a different kind of cord that perhaps is more slippery or isn't as thick, then a dab of glue might be in order. Okay, the final steps are to add our chain to either side. I love these oval jump rings, by the way, because the split is on the long side. So I never have to worry about them, you know, something coming through them. Just going to pop that through one part of our shorter piece of chain and through one of the links of the cord ends. Close that up securely. Repeat on the other side and add your clasp and you're done. So here's another look at the necklace we made today. There are lots of possibilities with the design. You could make it a little shorter and not add the chain and just add a clasp and a jump ring and you have a bracelet. You could make it longer and make it more of a focal point of a necklace. You could weave together several chains side by side. Lots of different possibilities, different colors of cord and chain. Have fun with this design and make it your own. Thank you so much for watching Keepsake Crafts videos. Up on the screen are a couple more videos you might enjoy. Please be sure to click like if you like this video and hit subscribe so you don't miss a thing. And check out my blog, keepsakecrafts.net, where I have lots more sewing and crafting and lots of jewelry making, ideas, and inspiration. Thanks again for watching. Have a good one. Bye-bye.